The Strait of Gibraltar, known as the Freedom Herculeum or Pillars of Hercules by ancient Greeks and Romans, connects the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea, spanning just over 8 miles 13 kilometers, at its narrowest point. It serves as a crucial passage linking Europe and Africa. Despite its strategic importance and numerous proposals over the years, including discussions of building a bridge, the question remains. Why hasn't such a monumental project materialized? This channel's significance lies not only in its geographical placement, but also in its economic potential. It acts as a vital shipping route, facilitating trade between the 447 million inhabitants of the European Union and the 1.4 billion people in Africa. The daily passage of over 100,000 ships through these waters underscores its importance in global maritime trade. Cargo ships transporting oil and goods between continents utilize the strait, highlighting its role in the global economy. The concept of bridging the Strait of Gibraltar has been explored since the late 19th century, yet no bridge exists today. The logistical challenges, including engineering complexities and the need to maintain shipping lanes, pose significant obstacles. Estimates suggest construction costs could range from $5 billion to $20 billion, depending on the design and scale. Financial viability, coupled with geopolitical factors and environmental concerns, further complicates the feasibility of such a project. Attempts to study the feasibility of a bridge date back to 1979 with various studies highlighting technical and financial hurdles. While advancements in engineering could theoretically support such a structure, the practicalities of constructing a bridge over an active shipping channel, where vessels of all sizes traverse daily, present formidable challenges. The need to ensure minimal disruption to maritime traffic, including accommodating large container ships and tankers, adds layers of complexity to the project. Moreover, political dynamics between Spain and Morocco the countries flanking the strait play a crucial role. Disputes over territorial waters and sovereignty complicate any joint infrastructure project. Each nation's economic interests and concerns about potential impacts on local economies and environments further contribute to the hesitation. In comparison to successful transnational projects like the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, which primarily serves passenger traffic, a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar must justify its immense cost with tangible economic benefits. The existing ferry services and shipping lanes provide efficient means of transport, raising questions about the bridge's economic viability and necessity. While technological capabilities may allow for the construction of such a bridge, the current economic, political, and environmental landscapes present substantial barriers. Until these challenges are addressed comprehensively and consensus is reached among stakeholders, the dream of a physical link between Europe and Africa across the Strait of Gibraltar remains an ambitious vision rather than a tangible reality.